Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about setting up a virtual machine on my NAS and backing that up. And we're going to go through that process. I figure we'd do something a little bit different, something more technical, and show you guys just a little bit into virtualization as well as creating backups or snapshots because these are some technologies that everybody will be utilizing at some point as they're either getting into the IT field or as you're uh, expanding your career even. So let's dive into this and the first thing that we're going to do is set up a new volume on our NAS. Today's video is sponsored by our good friends over at Synology who have made network attached storage easily accessible, easy to use, and very affordable. Make sure you check out the link in the description below for Synology where you can get access to one of these storage devices just like we're using in this video. If we click on the main menu here, all we need to do is go to storage manager and there's a couple different ways that we can go about this, but this is easiest for me. So what we're gonna do is click on volume and we're gonna go ahead and click on create. So we're creating a new volume on our NAS where you're gonna utilize one of these hard drives so that we can start creating a virtual machine uh, within that volume. So our NAS has five bays in it. They each have six terabyte hard drives in them. I have two of the drives set up just as some backup media for me personally uh, and some of the YouTube videos and things like that. But we're gonna utilize one of these drives just for a virtual machine. So we're gonna configure this with the SHR, which is, uh, as you can see here on the screen, it's recommended RAID type for beginner users. Choosing this type allows you to combine drives of different sizes in the future to optimize volume size and to ensure data redundancy. So we're gonna keep this really basic because creating the virtual machine, it's with that, it's not really gonna matter too much, right? So we're just gonna select drive two for this. Actually, let's select drive five for this. I have our last drive be our virtual machine drive. So we're gonna use the BTRFS recommended. Again, keeping things simple here. And everything looks good here. You can go ahead and click apply. And that's gonna go through our, uh, and, and save those settings and get everything set up for us. So now that our volume set up, our virtual machine manager is there. We're gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna go ahead and click on virtual machine manager. And what we need to do now is go through the setup process here, make sure everything is right. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay with that. Uh, and it's on volume two. All right, now that we're all good to go with that, we can go ahead and click on finish. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have to get our ISO prepared for this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on image, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on add. And we're gonna do from Synology NAS because we downloaded um, an ISO for this purpose. And there it is right there, it's our Ubuntu ISO. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna go with next. Uh, we're gonna use this for the storage cause that's fine. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click apply. All right, so once that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and click over to virtual machine and then we're gonna set up our virtual machine from here. So we're gonna click on create. And now we need to select our operating system here which is Linux, next. That's correct, so we're gonna go with next. Now we're gonna name this one. Uh, we're just gonna name this one uh, Ubuntu uh, Python because we will be utilizing Python for this virtual machine. And we'll talk about that later, but just to give you a brief kind of overview of it, we're gonna be utilizing some different scripts from this virtual machine that's on the NAS because we can keep this on all the time. So the scripts that I'll be running will be accomplishing a few different things for a multitude of re like you know different reasons. One of them will be using to utilize uh, different bots for our Discord server. If you haven't checked out our Discord server, please make sure you guys go check out the link in the description below. Join it, join along with our chat, talk to people, ask questions. Everybody's there to help you. So we name it, we're gonna add two CPUs to it. Even though we have four available, we don't need anything too crazy. For memory, we're gonna go ahead and select four gigabytes. And for our uh, video card, the VM VGA is just fine. And now we're just gonna click on next and go through this process. So for virtual disk number one, we're gonna go ahead and allow this machine to have 120 gigabytes. That's gonna be more than enough. And I think that's just being very generous, but who knows what we we'll utilize it for, right? So go ahead and click next. The default VMware network is fine. So we're gonna go ahead and click next again. ISO file for boot up, we're gonna use our Ubuntu ISO that we selected for this. Additional ISO, we don't have anything for that. So auto start, uh, we are going to just leave that no for now. We're gonna actually leave all of the rest, of the, we're, we're actually just gonna leave the rest of the settings uh, alone and 
go for a standard here. So go ahead and click on next. Now we want to give privileges. So we want admin and Zach to have privileges just so we have the proper access in case every, anything ever happens. Say I get locked out of the admin account or I get locked out of the Zach account, vice versa, you know what I'm saying. So select those guys, hit next. And we're gonna make sure that power on the virtual machine after creation. So everything's set here. We're gonna click apply. And now we're just gonna wait. So we'll come back. So it already completed the process of creating that VM. And now we're getting ready to power on this virtual machine. So while the virtual machine is booting up for the first time and getting ready for that whole process, we're gonna go ahead and set up a backup or snapshot, if you will, so that we can make sure that everything that we do and our progress will be saved. So if anything were to ever happen to this virtual machine, we should be able to refer back to one of these snapshots and recover any lost progress maybe that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and click on protection from the virtual machine manager. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on create. And now we can, we're can. we gonna have the option to do a local snapshot or local snapshot with remote application. We're not gonna use the uh, local snapshot with remote replication because we don't have access to that currently. So we're gonna go ahead with our local snapshot here, click on next. We're gonna select our uh, Ubuntu Python virtual machine, click on next. Use existing schedule policy. We have no policy set in place. So what we're gonna do is just set it for weekly. And that is more than fine for me because I don't believe we're gonna be doing many different things on this on a day-to-day -day basis that would require uh, additional backup times or, or schedules. So we'll go ahead and go with that, click next. Now we need to set the retention policy for the snapshot. We're just gonna go ahead with one week. Uh, again, not doing too many changes. So we're gonna go ahead and click next again and we're gonna go ahead and click on apply. So now our virtual machine is scheduled to back up on a weekly basis, which is going to be very beneficial for us again in case something were to ever happen. This was a pretty easy process that we just went through here. We set up a new volume for our virtual machine. Uh, we added our ISO. We began the creating of a virtual machine process within Synology's uh, UI here, which was extremely easy to do. So now, I mean, we're good. We're ready to go. We're ready to get rolling. And now we're ready to install Ubuntu. So this is perfect timing for us. So we're not going to go through this process here. I've gone through processes on how to install different virtual machines before. We're ready to go. We have everything backed up. We're going to have our virtual machine up and running, good to go. And we will do another video in hopefully a couple weeks on what we're utilizing this virtual machine for. So we'll start with a very basic, this is what we're using it for, and then kind of getting more to the advanced things that we'll try to utilize this for. But I'm glad that we have this set up so far and the backups are running and that makes me feel good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, something a little bit different. And this is something that you guys could potentially end up using on a day-to-day -day basis. So we are good. Thank you guys for watching. As always, take it easy.